welcome back. listen if that sounds nice to you or um, sit down and do some of these stretches with me. All right, let's get into it. So first we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. Make sure that our sits bones are grounded into the mat or the floor or the chair, wherever you're in. If you would like to focus on a grounded position, you can keep your hands down on your knees, or if you are ready to inspire joy, inspiration, um, and creativity, you can go ahead and flip your palms up. Flip your, flip your palms up. Okay, let's start with a deep collective inhale and a sigh exhale. Ah. left arm up and stretch over that right side body. You can bend the right elbow to allow for a deeper stretch and you breathe into that left side body. Very good. Very good. All right. And now we're going to fold this position over that right knee walk our hands out. Don't forget to breathe into that stretch. You can let the neck go as well and fully surrender to the movement. Now we're going to open up that left shoulder up to the sky and look under that left armpit. Breathe into that left side body, very good. Okay, <sighs> lovely. Now we can do that on the other side. Right arm up. Breathe into that right side body. <sighs> Bend the left elbow to increase that stretch. And fold this position over that left knee. Walk that hand out. Let the neck go and breathe. All right, now we can open that right side body up to the ceiling. Breathe there. And then I want you to walk out your hands in front of you as far as they'll go. And breathe into this. We're really looking for length here um, over how far down you can get. So think of uh, lengthening that spine. And my yoga instructor always cues me to uh, think about little tiny marshmallows in between your spine as well. Okay. Very good. Very good, guys. Um, now let's we can do some neck rolls start with the head, the ear to the right shoulder, looking down, the left ear to the left shoulder, and looking up. You can do a couple of these. Remembering to breathe. or just do whatever feels the best for you. Very good. Okay, so next we're going to get on all fours with our 
Mies and I hope I'm in screen. <laughs> um, we're going to do hip width apart, our knees, and have our hands tracking over our shoulders. I want you to inhale and drop that belly, bring that chin up. into a curve like our cat, 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 and inhale into our cow, raise that chin, very good. Now you guys can just wiggle in whatever ways, feel good, feel supportive, you can practice free expression here. Um, another thing I like to do here is flip my wrists so that, that the back of my hands are down. And if this feels like a little bit too much pressure, you can always um, put more weight in your legs. But I just like to go from side to side in this position, rocking very gently. It's just a nice way to stretch out your wrists because that's an area that is doesn't always get as much love as it needs. Very good. Flip those hands, and then we're going to take our fingers and point them towards our knees, okay? Very good. Inhale and raise that chin. Exhale and curve that spine. You can Huge um, downward dog and pedal out the feet. Pedal out the feet. Very good. Very good. And now we can drop into child's pose. Um, you can either do it with the wide legged variation, which is more of a hip stretch, um, where you can let your tummy go between your legs and reach your hands as far out as they will go, even lifting your wrists off the mat. Um, you can also do the closed leg variation, which is like a little seed, and you can bring your arms right next to your calves. For a few breaths. You can stay there for a few breaths. Um, and then I'm going to go into some uh, variations on our back. So flip onto your back, come down. And what we're going to do first is a spinal twist. So ground your feet like you're about to do bridge position. Uh, have your feet hip width apart. And we're going to, uh, we're going to take, sorry, we're gonna take the right leg, pull it into the chest and let our left leg go long. Now we're just going to circle that ankle, get that mobility in the ankle any crunches that need to be kneaded out. And then we're gonna hold on to the back of the hamstring and just bend and flex. Bend here and 
flex, stretching out that hamstring as much as we can. You can also use a strap here, which can be really nice as well. Now take that right leg and we're going to put our hands out long and cross that right leg over to the left. We want to make sure that our right shoulder is still on the mat. The right hip, however, can lift. And to deepen the stretch, you can take your gaze over to the right side of the room and breathe into that. Letting the exhale really deepen your stretch even more. Very good. Very good. All right, let's take that on the other side. Take in the left knee, lengthening the right foot. And we're going to do some ankle circles. You could even do, um, well, well, we'll get into that later. Let's just do ankle circles for now. Breathe into it and swap the direction, whatever feels good to you. Go ahead and grab under that knee and we'll do our flexing and bending. Bend and flex. Bend, flex, bend and flex. All right, we're going to take that left knee and draw it over our right leg keeping that left hand down. If you don't have enough room, you can always put your hands in cactus pose. And to deepen the twist, we're going to look to the left. Every exhale, allow yourself to get deeper into that twist. going to do some little windshield wipers from side to side, arms in cactus or out straight to a T, breathing. All right, now we're going to do a bridge, bridge position. We can also do a supported bridge if you have, if you have a brick yoga brick, we can do a supported bridge. So, knees bent, feet on the ground, hip width apart. We're going to inhale up and place the block right at our sacrum, which is not, um, your sacrum is that sweet spot right it's not exactly your lower back, but it's not your butt either. It's, it's right between the two. And if you want to just do a regular bridge, that is totally great too. We're just going to be here for a few breaths. Slowing down. To take our knees and tuck them into our chest. Here we can just roll around, do some knee circles, some knee stirs, flip the direction, just play with whatever feels good, get into all those cracks and crevices and those hips. Great. Now we can go into happy baby grabbing the feet like this um, and swinging along here, uh, rocking, stretching out the legs, whatever feels good. This is your free movement. Um, okay, now we're going to go back into a ball and rock ourselves up, rolling on the spine, massaging that spine 
And if at the top we can balance with our toes up, balance like this, a little more core work, and come into cross-legged again. Um, let's see, what else? Let's do a seated twist because we're here, why not? Um, we're going to go ahead, reach those hands to the ceiling left arm to right knee and look towards the back of the room. Allow every exhale to deepen that spine, stretch, twist, whatever it is. Great. And to the other side. I'm not exactly a yoga instructor, but I do a lot of yoga and Pilates. Another thing I like to do is a stretch for the inner thighs and for the hips here. So we're just going to do put our legs in this wide V, as wide as you want, and just walk forward here. Um, and with this, we want to keep our upper spine straight and lifted and think again about going forward, not down. So if you can walk yourself down, that can feel really nice. But we don't want to overextend and uh, accidentally tighten these muscles even more. Breathe here. Very good. Very good. structure always says to just make note of where our head goes when we're in uncomfortable positions um, and we're really working on rewiring the brain to start thinking of uncomfortability as a positive thing and, and um, a, a positive challenge which I know is a lot easier said than to just finish out with some affirmations um, and uh, talking more about how amazing our bodies are. Um, if we just take a moment now to do another breath together, inhale and exhale everything out and now we'll inhale for the sound of OM. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what they, that's what my um, yoga teachers do. So, namaste. Uh, thanks for practicing. But it's true, we can uh, spread gratitude and just be so thankful for our amazing, amazing bodies and just take notice of how we feel now after doing a little bit of that stretching and um, loving on ourselves a bit. Our bodies are so unbelievably magical and powerful. It's just, if we can continue to, to give movement to our body, listen to our bodies, and just be so grateful and appreciative of this vessel for life that is taking you on this crazy journey, um, our bodies are constantly looking out for us, and uh, it's amazing to be in them, so just we can also do a self-hug here, crossing the left over the right, hugging ourselves, thanking ourselves for supplying a 
home for our soul. Thank you for being perfect just as you are. Great. And we can flip those arms, have the right over the left, and do the same. Alright, definitely let me know what you guys thought of this video. I've had some requests for it. I know it's a little different than usual, um, but I love yoga, I love Pilates and movement so, so much. So it's my dream to really um, like be a real instructor and to teach it more. So uh, let me know what you guys thought. I love you guys so, so much. and. 